my fellow Harriotes. Welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. So today we're going to be drawing something rather cute, and it's going to be this pug head. So you're going to need some plain white paper, you're going to need a pencil, an eraser, a ruler, and a relatively thick black pen or just a felt tip pen, whatever you can find. And that'll be all. And remember, if you like drawing animals, don't forget to download my free PDF of how to draw a horse galloping, which you'll find just here. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off really nice and simply with a great big oval shape. So, just draw a nice big oval shape in the center of the page. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just have as many attempts at it as you need. And remember it's in pencil, just draw it lightly so that we can rub it out later. Just keep on going round until you get the right kind of shape. That's more or less it. Okie dokie. So the next stage we're going to add some ears. So one ear will be around here, coming out and then in. And we'll do the same on the other side. Make sure they're roughly the same size. We can always change them if not. Just like that. Next you're going to need a ruler. So we're going to cut this oval in half. So I'm just going to figure out where the halfway. You can measure it. Just draw a line across and then a line down the middle. And then we're going to cut this one into quarters as well. Again, you can measure it. I'm just doing it by eye just to make it quicker. Okay, now to add the features. So the nose is going to go right bang a middle in the middle of this. So just draw another oval shape right in the middle. Just like that. And then we're going to have two big eyes. And they're not entirely round. They're like inflated football shape. Or rugby ball shape. There we go. That's one. And the same on the other side. And the same on the other side. Next we're going to do like muzzle area. So just coming out round here, just from this horizontal line, we're going to go round past this vertical line all the way down. We're going to do the same on the other side. So try and make it as symmetrical as possible. It's kind of hard but we're doing it in pencil so you can always rub it out. Just come around like that. Okay, so let's draw the mouth. So the mouth starts where this line hits the outer oval and the same on the other side. And it'll come up to about there. Okay, so that's where we're aiming for. So a big upside down smile. Just like that. And then we're going to Bring that round and the same round there and the chin. Gonna add a few wrinkles. These are kind of wrinkly dogs, so it needs a couple of wrinkles. One wrinkle here, one over here, and a couple more wrinkles where it's just kind of like scratching up its nose and then the nostril one bit like that and then on the other side as well and the line coming down the middle like that. Okay now we're going to 
perfect the shape of the face because at the moment it's just too long. So we're just going to draw a line just around the eye coming down like that and then the same on the other side. Oh sorry, before we do that we're just going to draw like the kind of the brow bit just like that. Got like a little worried expression on its face. And the same on the other side. So basically whatever we do on one side we do on the other. So bring it round. I'm going to go same on this side, just bring it round, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to actually do the shape of the head. I'm just going to do a few wiggly lines just to show that it's going to be fur. Bring it round, bring it round like this, and then it'll come in quite a bit, like that. And then exactly the same on the other side. Come round, I'm trying to get it exactly the same on this side as I did on the other. Doesn't look lopsided. Okay, now for the ears. Bring it round. They kind of flop down. So just draw the outer bit. I'm going to go over this in pen so you'll see it a lot quick, um, sorry, a lot more clear. There we go. And then the same on the other side. We're going to do the same. This one's not flopping as much, so I'll just draw it round like that. There we go. Excellent. Now for the eyes. So I'm just going to draw the iris. Actually, so that you can see this better, I'm just going to rub out this line distracting. So the iris goes like this. Keep the eyes big and boggly. And then the pupil in the centre, but there's kind of a light shining, so we've got to keep that bit clear. So we're we'll colouring the pupil, just like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now, pug's eyes don't necessarily look in the same direction. They kind of look outwards like that. So this one's looking out in that direction, and this one will be looking out in this direction. So start the iris there, just like that. Again, we're going to have the same light because that's coming from the same light source. Just like this. Just going to perfect the nose a little bit. Make a little dip in the center. Bring it round. Just like that. And then I'll add some whiskers. Excellent. Now I'm going to draw it all in pen. Okay, so I've rubbed out all the pencil lines, but I've just left one eye unfinished just to show you how I did the iris. So as you can see, I've done the iris around the pupil on this one. And all that that is, is just lots of lines going from the pupil to the outer corner of the iris, all the way around, just like that. And just make the pupil a little bit darker in the centre and towards the top. And there you have your cute pug finished. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and do leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you found it, if you have any suggestions or um, 
anything that you'd like me to draw, any requests, please let me know. And I really hope to see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.